All right, gonna show you uh, getting out a difficult bolt here. This is just gonna happen, part of being a mechanic. We're bringing this bike back from the dead. It was in a just a whole bunch of pieces uh, as a basket case. Pretty cool bike though, ZL600 Eliminator. But what I want you to notice is, can you see how the bolt's actually bent? Mm -hmm. This bolt was probably over torqued or fatigued or something already. Uh, the student here put this in and just with no effort it snapped. That's always going to make me want to check the rest of them to see if they were, you know, over torqued or if they're stretched. We always need to check our fasteners, but all of us are going to overlook that at times. It's just too dang easy, but we need to get that out of there. And I have no real estate to grab onto this, okay? There's nothing for me to grab onto here to try and see if I can get that out. I don't I don't want to get to drilling and, and trying to tap or anything else. I really want to get this out of here. If I do anything, like what a lot of people do is they're gonna take a chisel and they're gonna try and tap in and basically try to make like a, a flat blade of a screwdriver. Okay. What I'm gonna to attempt to do is get in here and try and create a way to tap this spinning it back out. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Remember we've talked about center punches? Yep. I'm gonna use my big strong one because when I use my strong one, won't it kind of act as a little hammer? Mm -hmm. yep. It might actually just knock it loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get into a corner. I'm, I'm not trying to go in the middle like you normally would. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna try and, I got a little bit of a bite, but you see how I'm trying to drive it up? Yep. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try and try here. I can see it starting to fold over. Unfortunately, we are going to have to drill through this. See, even as careful as we were, it's, it's still not perfect. The hole is a little bit, you know, to the top left of that. And if I go any further with a larger drill bit, I'm going to be into um, threads. And then I'm looking at having to do a Healy coiler. See it coming? Now that I got to move a little bit, I'm going to try the easy out that was wanting to break. And I'm going to quit because it's just wedging it. It's making it worse. This is where I was talking about where you might have to take the rotor off. A lot of work over a broke, broke bolt. Try not to wedge that in as tight here. Still giving me grief. So I'm at what, about 20 minutes so far? Yep. And I only have one thick side, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's... see we went through threads so what do we know we did in here messed up some thread not uh, it's, the integrity is actually still looking pretty good get that six by one tap we'll run it through here all right let's do a review here first off sorry about the videography this is tough to do and, and be able to allow someone to actually see uh, but anyway back to the actual repair here you can see that you know, we really made some attempts to be careful not to break something or make it worse. And the problem with uh, bolt extraction is the tool is always trying to, you know, wedge it tighter against the threads. And just the overall process is not exactly the most fun uh, part of being a mechanic. But you can see where we uh, really took some steps not to cause damage, being really careful with what we're doing. And I suggest that you think about the order you do things, you know, center punch, trying to chisel it out. You know, and then if you do have to drill it, you really need to be careful to try and drill as p close as possible to the center. And then make sure you check the integrity, you know, of the hole in the threads with your tap afterwards. I do suggest that sometimes you just take uh, the cover or maybe a stack of washers and a bolt and apply a full uh, torque that's required of that fastener to verify that the bolt will hold torque. Um, 
without wasting a new gasket and, and whatnot. So those are my tips and that's how you can uh, remove the bolt and then make sure it has the integrity to, to fasten properly when you're done. All right, make it great and keep on wrenching.